My next guests are both friends with Adina, and they say she's been a guiding light and mentor through an amazing program called A Broader Way. Please welcome 14-year-old Brianna and 15-year-old Vanessa. Dina, you work closely with A Broader Way. Tell me a little about yes, it. Yes, A Broader Way is um, an organization that I created with my best friend from college, my college roommate, Heather. Um, I was fortunate to go away to summer camp for many years when I was younger, and it changed my life. I loved escaping my reality uh, during the school year and then being able to go and sort of redefine who I was and yeah. do, run around and, and be in the country and sports and the arts. And so I always wanted to do that later on in my life. And so we created this camp that's now become an entire foundation. But what it is, it's about a 10 day, 10 day experience up in the Berkshire Mountains. That's us. <laughs> and um, these girls come up and there's a bunch of campers. We started with 30 girls. We're going on our 10th year. We have about 100 girls every summer now and these guys you can talk more about um, we use the arts to kind of find our voice and our our expression and figure out our identity in the world yeah. and um, Vanessa is quite a writer we do a lot of journaling and using our lyrics and our choreography in our own um, go ahead you talk about it yeah what ladies what does it mean to y'all to be a part of the program that is so cool you're like in rehearsing with them doing all these shows that is so cool <laughs> yeah. that means something because you're not just starting it you're actually well, a part of it we don't just put on a play you know like like West Side Story, what we do is we ask the girls to create, to write, to choreograph, um, whatever it is that they love to do. And then we use that and we, we put it all into a recital at the end of the year and talent shows and they get to um, put that on for the rest of us. So Vanessa, what's something that you love to do up at camp, would you say? I love to write a lot. Um, before I didn't really think about writing at all, but then I entered a Broadway and I ended up writing a book. And it's been something that's an ongoing thing for me, and I really want it to be out there. And I just love also dancing. I've been dancing since I was six years old, and I found different ways and different forms of really expressing that with the Broadway. Way. And wow. then Brianna is quite a songwriter. <coughs> right on. She's, go ahead, Brianna. Um, I love to songwrite and to sing. It's my favorite thing to do. Before the camp, I was really scared and nervous all the time, and I was scared about my talent, but ever since I started the program, it's taught me to be more open about it and to be more open in sharing it. So I just, I'm yeah, excited happens, to be a part of it. I feel like as young women, or even as older women, we have often ha feel like we have to hide our power, and um, just like the characters that I'm associated with, we're often apologizing for our fierceness and what makes us really unique and special in the world, and so it's a wonderful reminder for me to hang out with these girls or remind myself as the role model that we need to embrace that thing that makes us unique because that's the thing that you know makes us stand out in the world yeah. what a, this is amazing like how did I, I went to camps as well whenever I was a kid on scholarship God bless everybody who helps pay for kids and scholarships to do things um, but how did you find out about a broader way how did how did you find out about it Brianna um, well, I used to go to a school, Promise Academy 1, and I was on the dance team. Yeah. And they had introduced me about the program. They told me a lot about it. and oh, they so through the school? Yeah, through the school. They told me I should go audition for it. So once I got in, I was so excited. The first two years of the program, it's a 10-day camp at Upstate. Yeah. And the first time I got there, we experienced different things. We did dancing and we did art. We also we did writing, poetry, singing, yeah. and spoken word. spoken word, all types yeah. of stuff for the first two years. And for the last two years, you really pick what you want to do mostly. And I was a part of the songwriting program. Mm -hmm. And even from then, I still songwrite and I sing a lot now. That's amazing. It's such a good outlet. It's such a good, for me, it's therapy. I love writing. You get out all the emotions of what you maybe can't say in a conversation, but you get it in a song. Yes. And you get it out. And the same thing with writing. I love writing like you, too, because you get all the feelings out and everything. And is that how you figured out about a Broadway as well, like through your school? I figured out about a Broadway through dancing because I went to a program, and I've been dancing since I was six years old, so they really got to know me. And they told me, you should audition for Camp of Broadway. And they started talking about it. And I was like, oh my god, this seems like a really great place to be. And I got accepted. Mm. And when I entered, I entered in my second year. So I was starting off in the second year. Yeah. I really realized that there's so many more ways of expressing myself other than dance. Yeah. And that's how I found out that I love to write, and that's my outlet now. 
It's also good too because it's such a, I mean, I just remember being y'all's age and there's so many emotions going on and there's so many things going on and drama. And so it's nice mm -hmm. to be able to just have those outlets, whether it's dance, whether it's writing, whether it's spoken word, whatever you want to do. And it's we a really good thing. support each other. So we'll write a song together and then some of the dancers will choreograph movement behind the song and then other people are, we have filmmaking stuff, we make music yes. videos. We collaborate. It's so kind of cool. combine it all together. And yeah. It's got to be pretty cool to have a Dina Menzel teaching y'all stuff at this camp. I mean, <laughs> Brianna, what is, what, is, what is like something she's taught you that you love? Um, over the summer, working on a project for Wicked, she's taught me to express myself more and yeah. to think, analyze more stuff, to go deep into my feelings when I talk, when I write down songs, when I write songs, when I express myself in any way. So I learned a lot from her. We have enough shallow out there. Go deep. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Good lesson. <laughs> what, what about you, Vanessa? She's taught me to express my emotions and to have those little emotions that everyone's afraid of sharing, to share them. Because when I saw you for the first time, I was like, oh, I knew you. I was like, I know you. And then I didn't know how to come up to you. And then when I came up to you, you were completely different than the person that I saw you on as Glee. And I was like, oh. She has so much characters and she really feeds into them. Like you are two completely different people, but you play into their roles like if they're really you. And I wanted to do that. Like I want to be okay with all these different emotions and really, you know, be two different characters. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Michael Michelle, have you, I know you're little, but have you ever done like a camp or you gone anywhere and done anything like with theater like that? I mean, you're so little. <laughs> so, you just went right to stardom. I like it. You just dove right in. <laughs> Let me think back into my olden days. <laughs> oh my God. Who are you? Nope. Nope, nope. She said, nope. You would be a hilarious. I would want to go to a camp with you. Thank you. <laughs> so, what do you, Brianna and Vanessa, what do you want to do with all this knowledge that you're getting in, in the arts? Like, what do you want to do in the arts? What's, what's the, it could change. Obviously, you're young, but like right now, what's your focus, maybe? Um, I love singing and songwriting, mm -hmm. and I would like to pursue that when I get older. Yeah. And even like performing on big stages, like Apollo Theater for one to start in New York City. I love that stump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like Madison Square Garden, like that would yeah. be amazing. And I would also love Dream to be- Dream big or you won't achieve it. Yeah. And I also love to be in like a romance comedy movie. A rom-com. I love them so much. They make me tear up. I was watching them on the plane right here. I, I love, love them, them too. They need to make more. There used yes. to be more. They're like few and far between now. Help us out, Anina. Uh, <laughs> 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 what, what about you? What do you think, Vanessa? I want to publish the book. I want it to be okay. something there. Like, I want to have that book there because I feel so passionate about it. Like, this is like my baby. Like, I really want people to meet my baby because I was a baby when I wrote it, so like, hey, guys, baby. <laughs> no, it's something very important to you, and you want to be a part of the whole process. That's a beautiful thing. It's cool. It's very cool. So, Adina, you have a special surprise, yeah, right? No, well, I was thinking it's, it's not Madison Square Garden, um, but I was hoping, I have to do a couple holiday shows. One of them is at Carnegie Hall, and oh, I was hoping. You have to. I, was, I, <laughs> I would love to have to like do to. a show at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> You can come anytime. <laughs> Don't you invite me. <laughs> you are invited, but no pressure. Um, um, I wanted to know if you guys would back me up at Carnegie Hall. We can come up with some choreography on a song. Maybe you can read a passage from your book or one of your lyrics and just come up there and feel it. It's a beautiful Carnegie Hall. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you're invited too. Oh, Thank you. Oh my, oh my God. God. I would love oh my to God. do it. Okay, y'all have to get some of this on socials because I got a lot of jobs. So if I can't make it, I want to see what happens. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. And I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.